the National Association of Realtors has settled the billion dollar lawsuit. Under the terms of the agreement, NAR would pay $418 million over approximately four years. Hi, I'm Shamika Fox, your Santa Cruz real estate expert, and this has been a hot topic in the real estate industry. Did you know that real estate makes up one fifth of our economy? I was recently at an event and as people were introducing themselves, it became very apparent that even industries outside of real estate are reliant on real estate for their job security. I met photographers, designers, builders, attorneys, lenders, painters, and even some artists, all of whom mentioned their biggest piece of the market share is directly connected to real estate, realtors, and buyers and sellers. I find this interesting and relevant in the sense that as our industry changes, it will not only affect the one fifth of the overall economy, it will also affect all the subsets of the industry that rely on it. Anyhow, NAR has settled. This settlement introduces significant regulatory changes specifically pertaining to how broker compensation offers are managed through the MLS. It is vital that we collectively understand and adapt to these changes as they are designed to reshape our industry's landscape. A notable change arising from this settlement includes a new rule set by NAR, which will prohibit the offering of compensation to buyers, brokers on MLS listings. Compensation can now be negotiated off the MLS, emphasizing the continued value of consulting with real estate professionals. We expect additional clarifications regarding the rule. However, sellers will still be entitled to offer concessions that may cover buyer's closing costs, among other concessions on the MLS platform. Furthermore, NAR will mandate written representation agreements for MLS participants working with buyers. These written agreements are an affirmation of the professional service relationships we establish. These changes are expected to take effect by mid-July 2024, subject to court approval. The change is most definitely going to have an impact on our industry. The thing that stands out most to me is the mandated buyer broker agreement. This is like a listing agreement when a realtor is hired to sell a property and will be used to define the agency relationship now with buyers as well. This change could imply that now buyers will be responsible for paying their real estate agent's commission out of pocket or that the commission is paid through escrow, added as a closing cost, and then a request and then request a seller credit in order to offset the buyer's closing costs. It does sound that a seller will still be entitled to offer the concession on the MLS should they choose to do so, but a concession which is different than a commission. I will keep you apprised as the new developments are ironed out and as I know, as I have more information. In the meantime. Should you want to further discuss how this suit will affect you and your real estate goals, give me a call so that we can discuss it. I know this is a big industry dis disruptor, which means now more than ever, it is important to have an experienced professional realtor on your side. <sighs> I'm Shamika Fox, your Santa Cruz real estate expert, and I really can't wait to connect with you.